So welcome to previous the tutor. We'll be doing biology and uh, this is a uh, paper one type. So question one says the diagram shows a light microscope which labeled part supports the objective lens and is rotated to bring the lens of desired magnification into position. This is the answer because this is a objective lens so it is supported by this. B says the diagram below shows uh, a cell as seen under a microscope. What type of cell is shown? Now look at this type of cell. It has got a regular shape. And you know that the shape, the uh, cell with a regular shape is a plant cell. And what's the reason? We can't say it has got presence of my cytoplasm because even an animal cell has got a cytoplasm. So because of this uh, is visible, the cell, so the answer is uh, D. Three says, the diagram shows fresh cut potatoes, one chip suspended in liquid M and another suspended in liquid N at the beginning and after two hours which one of the following collected in five liquid m and n look at m and look at n now look at the structure of the potato in m it has shrinkled it has decreased in size since it has decreased in size that means it was losing water into the solution so water was going into the into the solution that means solution m is more concentrated so it's more concentrated and M, any, you can start the potato has remained constant, the same shape, so it's pure water, and the answer is A. Which of the following best describes the function of enzymes? You know that enzymes are catalysts, and the catalysts, they speed up the rate of the reaction. To speed up is the same as to accelerate the rate of the reaction. So five, which, which combination of chemical element is present in a protein molecule. Now in proteins we've got sulfur, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen and the answer is D where all of them are ticked. Which of the following pe people need a lot of carbohydrates in their diet? You know that carbohydrates provide the body with energy. So a lactating mother is the mother in Bemba, the same Malaria patient, not really. Manueka, Manueka is a person who's doing a lot of labor and he as a result he or she needs a lot of uh, uh, carbohydrates. Question 7 says which of the following correctly shows a plant nutrient and its function? Calcium, nitrogen, potassium, sulfur. Potassium formation of ATP and ADP? No, not at all. Sulfur formation part of chlorophyll molecule? Not really. Nitrogen activation of enzyme? Really? Maybe. Uh, calcium formation of middle amina and that is uh, A. The diagram shows the internal structure of the leaf. In which labeled cells is the little for photosynthesis highest on a sunny day? Now, know that we've got two types of cells in here. We've got these, these, and we've got these that are like this. And we've got there, the sponge mesophyll cell and the pisate cells. You know that photosynthesis takes place mostly in this type of cells that are like this because, because of this. This creates a larger surface area for photosynthesis to take place. Hence, the answer here is B. Not these, these, just their shape, it affects the rate of photosynthesis. It takes place but at a uh, lowest rate. What type of nutrition is carried out by a lysopus? Now we know that lysopus or a marker is a type of um, uh, an organism that carries out this saprophytic type of nutrition. Question 10 says the diagram shows a skull of a herbivore. Now the herbivores, they are those uh, that feed on uh, uh, both um, uh, plants and uh, and fresh. What type of teeth are presented by P? Now P, you know that the teeth found in front here, they are what we call the incisors. And the first two teeth here, they are what we call the premolars. So the answer there is uh, A. Oh, sorry, C. The diagram shows the vela in which of the labeled structures are amino acids and glucose absorbed and transported. Now you need to know that this is the vela. We've got epithelium, lacti, blood vessels and mucus circulating the mucus removes those dust particles. Blood vessels they cut blood and other dissolved food uh, nutrients. The lacti carries 
amino acids, glucose, and it transports them to specific parts of the body. And the answer there is A. The diagram shows some of the structures in a human lung A, D, and C. Pulmonary vein, you know that pulmonary vein carries uh, ox uh, oxygenated blood, of course. That means blood filled with a lot of oxygen, and that is the, the C one. At which point is the oxygen concentration the lowest? What, at what point here is the oxygen the, the lowest? Now, look, when blood, uh, so when air enters, right? It, it, it has got both carbon dioxide and oxygen. After purification here, there's a, there's a capillary here. Oxygen gets dissolved here. So part D here and part A there, remember, they've got a lot of oxygen, including part uh, C, the pulmonary vein that carries oxygen. So part B has got less concentration of oxygen. Question 13. Glucose is an energy source needed for body process to occur. Now they are saying body processes. Glucose plus oxygen combining through respiration. So you can see C and D that for respiration there. After this energy has been released, this energy is used for what? They are saying for, for, for synthesis, contraction of muscles, what else? Is it for respiration again? Remember about respiration, respiration. Is it for growth or photosynthesis? This energy is not used for photosynthesis, no. But it's used for growth. And our answer there is C. 14. Which of the following forms of drug abuse leads to the risk of the highest risk of infection with the human immunodeficiency virus? Got cannabis, cigarette smoking, drinking alcohol, and injection heroin. Of course, it's injection of heroin. The diagram shows the potometer. Remember, a potometer is a, it's a device that is used to measure the rate of transpiration. Which, is, which of these factors will cause the fastest movement of the air bubble? in the direction shown. You can see that the direction of the bubble is going in that direction and they're saying which of the factors this decrease point temperature. What does temperature have to do with transpiration? Higher temperature increases the rate of transpiration. Lower temperature decreases. So there's no way temperature can play a decrease in temperature can do anything in the air bubble. Decrease to wind speed. Wind speed the more wind blows the higher the rate of transpiration. So B also is out. Increased humidity. Humidity is the, um, is the increase in the amount of vapor present in the atmosphere. So if there's a lot of water in the atmosphere, there's no way more water can be needed in the atmosphere. So even C is out. So increasing in light intensity increases the kinetic energy of the particles, hence they move and up and down like that. Mary has blood group A. Which of the following is true about Mary's blood? Now, blood group A has got antigen A. Antibodies, you cannot have a complementary antibody like antibody A. You're going to cause what you call agglutination. So, Mary has got antigen A and antibody B. The table shows features of some blood vessels and the direction of blood in the in them. Feature muscle lumen direction of blood. Which blood vessel is the pulmonary artery? And the arteries, we know that all arteries carry oxygenated blood ex except the, the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery is the one that takes blood. If this is the lungs and these are the heart, the pulmonary artery takes blood away from the heart all the way to the lungs there. This is the pulmonary artery and it carries the oxygenated blood from the heart. So away from the heart, so that it got away from the heart in two parts. Now, what, what are the muscles? Remember, all arteries have got very thick muscles. So we have thick muscles there as well as there. Now, how is the lumen? Their lumen is after narrow. So you are saying A is our answer. 
the diagram below shows the human kidney and its blood supply. Um, compared with blood in vessel W, the blood in vessel X has A is, is it less urine? A urea, sorry. Now look at the direction of the arrow, it's going like that. So after contaminated um, blood enters the kidney, it's being purified, it goes back to the blood, uh, into the bloodstream. So it must have a lot of oxygen and less urea because once urea goes back in the in the bloodstream, it can cause other complications. So at X we've got less urea and more oxygen, less urea and more oxygen, and our answer is B. 19 says the diagram shows part of the lumen skin. What is the function of lumen P? Of layer P, sorry. Layer P is a dipos uh, tissue layer that actually stores fat. And fats actually are used for insulation due against cold. Which hormone is responsible for regulation of uh, water in the human body? Is the antidiuretic.